Are you ready to rekindle romance and step confidently into the modern dating scene, no matter your age? Today, we're joined by a savvy dating strategist and confidence therapist who's here to help you navigate the dating world later in life. Let's welcome Kimmy Seltzer. Hey, Kimmy, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yes, okay, so Kimmy, I mean, here at ABC, shows like The Golden Bachelor have made dating later in life a hot topic, but it can still be maybe sometimes daunting. So how can someone ease back into the dating scene at this stage? Uh, yes, getting back in there when you're dating in the second act, as I call it, is, um, yeah, it is daunting and overwhelming. And it's not as easy, you know, when you were younger, you, you know, kind of frolicked around with everybody mm -hmm. and you had the infrastructure of your social life and you had a lot of choices. Well, later in life, everybody is in different places in their lives and it's hard to find other singles. Mm -hmm. But the other thing about that is, is that you're different. So the first thing that I always have people do is create what I call a dating mission statement. And we do this in business, but I have people do this in dating because a lot of times people are getting back out there after a long relationship, or maybe it's been a long time mm -hmm. and they go out looking for their next boyfriend or girlfriend, which is really high expectations. Yeah. And I really like to get clarity for people on just what their mission is. And that is to learn how to date. <laughs> then putting together a dating plan or a social plan so that people know where to go to meet other like-minded singles. It's super, super important. And the final tip I'll say is learn how to flirt and have fun with everyone. There we go. You gotta <laughs> have fun while you're doing it. <laughs> And Kimmy, yes, what are some absolutely. common mistakes people tend to make when re-entering the dating world and how can they avoid them? Well, as I mentioned before, a lot of times people go back out there with unrealistic expectations. Mm. And so they're looking for their next boyfriend and girlfriend. They're making a checklist, yay long, and who their person should be and often who you know, what's on the checklist are things that they didn't have. So people are vetting so hard and they're being really picky about who to meet and they're already forecasting who is right for them without even just lightening up and giving things a chance to percolate and build <laughs> chemistry. And the other thing is everyone's getting so serious. So the conversations that are had on the dates become Q and A sessions. Mm -hmm. It often feels like an interview like you and I are having right now. <laughs> <laughs> without having a sense of fun and flirtation. Yeah. Yes, and then, okay, so to that point, if someone is coming out of a long-term relationship, what's the best way to begin their dating journey with that fresh perspective you're kind of talking about? Yeah, I mean, I think the first thing is really give yourself time to heal. A lot of times people jump back in thinking that they're ready when really they haven't processed their emotions. I mean, after a long-term relationship, whether it be from divorce or death, there's a grieving period. So mm -hmm. make sure that you're getting the support that you need to really you know, heal yourself. The other thing is when you're ready and you feel like you wanna dabble, just focus on rebuilding your confidence. This is the time where you can really identify yourself different from your couple mm -hmm. of, that you used to have. You know, your identity gets wrapped up in the couplehood and you forget who you are. So the third thing is, is just getting back to basics of the things that you like. Maybe it's getting back to the hobbies and passions that you once did before you met your partner, or this is also a time to enjoy things and dabble in things that you haven't ever tried before. And so it's, again, a state of reinvention. If you put the expectation of not being it like a dating situation, but more about being social, that's when it can, ha you know, it obviously be a lot more fun. All right, all helpful tips, Kimmy. Thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate your advice. And it's important to affirm that not, no matter what stage you're at in life, you can embrace the romantic journey. For more dating tips, check out Kimmy's website at KimmySeltzer.com.